Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, we're showing amounts in two different ways. So we're still using money here. We still have the same common core strand that we've had uh, in lessons one, two, and three. Our question here is how do we choose coins to show a amount of money in different ways? Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to show the amount uh, with coins. So if you have some uh, play coins, some play money uh, in your classroom, that's great. Otherwise, you can just draw the figures. I'm going to do both for a while. So I'll use uh, these, these coins, that, uh, play coins, we'll call them. And then we'll write the amount. So uh, I'm going to show you a few ways to find 27 cents. So one way is this. I'm going to grab um, uh, a quarter. So let's grab that quarter right there. There's, tw there's 25. And then we'll grab a couple of pennies. So there's 26 and then here's 27 so there's there's 27 cents right there and then it says to draw those coins so there's our quarter and our two pennies so remember the quarter is 25 cents and then plus one is 26 plus one is 27 don't forget to write your answer with your cents symbol 27 cents okay so that's our our cents symbol so uh, please get um, uh, uh, in custom with writing your cents symbol when you're talking about well, in this case, cents. So when we talk about dollars later on, we'll be writing our dollar symbol. Okay, here's another way. Um, we're going to do 27 cents. I forgot which way I did that. What did I do? Okay, I did um, uh, the two dimes. So here's one dime right here. So there's 10. Here's 20. Okay, whoops, that's my nickel. I'll put down, save that there. So here's 20 right there. Let me take that nickel back. So it doesn't matter which nickel, but um, so here's my, whoops, I didn't want that, a little trickster, let's do that, so here's, here's 20 right there, sorry about that, and then here's 25, and then I'll add a couple of pennies right here, I'll do it right here, how's that, 26, 27, I think that's what I did, or maybe I squeezed them in, yeah, that's what I did right there, okay, so, so let's draw those, so, so here's the two dimes, 10 cents, 20 cents, and then the nickel is 25 cents, and then 26, 27, so here's 10 cents, 20 cents, 25, plus 1 is 26, plus 1 is 27. So 27 cents. There's other ways to do that to get 27 cents, you guys. I could use uh, five nickels and two pennies. Um, I could use one dime and three nickels and two pennies. Or I can, you know, there's all kinds of ways. Here's 27 pennies. That's 27 cents right there. Okay, there's, there's several ways to represent 27 cents. Okay, so let's show the amount with coins. We're going to draw the coins and write the amount. Okay, so this one says it's the same thing as last one. We're going to... Um, uh, show 51 cents. Okay, so here's 51 cents. So here's uh, 25. I know two quarters. Two quarters is 51 right there. So there's 50. And then I'll, I guess I'll take this penny right here. So 51 cents right there. Okay. So, um, so when we draw that, and then 25 plus 25 is 50, plus the 1 is 51. So 51 cents. Okay. Another way to do that is what did i do i did uh whoops i i did um uh, let me go backwards here so i did um uh the quarter so there's 25 cents here's 35 cents so I, and then i grabbed another dime it's 45 cents and then a nickel is um 50 cents and then 51 cents so let's go ahead and draw that quarter the two dimes the one nickel and uh, the one penny so so there's 25 cents 35 cents 45 cents 45 plus 5 is 50 finally 51 don't forget to write 51 cents on that okay all right easy enough okay so can we show 10 cents using three coins well, I know the quarters are out because those are 25 cents, so we're not even going to think about that. So 10 cents, well, here's one way to show 10 cents, That's but that's only one coin, so it's not that one right there. Here's another way to show 10 cents, um, um, two nickels right there. Okay, but that's two coins, so I want three coins. Here's another way to show 10 cents. I can do um, uh, a nickel and... Um, uh, five pennies okay two three four five but but that's over three coins right there and then we can do ten pennies so is there a way to show ten cents using three coins right there no the only way to get ten cents are one dime one nickel and five pennies 
nickels at or and then I forgot um, uh, or let's put that in there sorry or uh, let's do that or ten pennies ten pennies I make mistakes all the time so none of those are three coins right there you guys so this is only one coin that's ten cents this is six coins right here the one nickel and five dimes right there I should have put the number five right there instead of five sorry about that uh, I can do that real quick right here okay and then uh, so there's that's six coins uh, two nickels is two coins and ten pennies is ten coins none of those gets us from three coins right there so no we can't make ten cents with Three coins okay all right so uh, here's two ways to show 30 cents okay Matt and Alice okay so Matt has two dimes and two two uh, nickels so it says count the cents starting with the dimes okay so 10 cents plus 10 is 20 plus 20 or plus 5 is 25 and then finally 30 so 10 20 25 30 Alice has a quarter, so that's 25, and then add the nickel, so 25 plus 5 is 30. So Matt has 30 cents and Alice has 30 cents. So what they want you to recognize is if we can trade uh, Matt's two dimes and this nickel for a quarter, it would be the exact same thing as what Alice has, okay? So this is a quarter. This represents Alice's quarter right here. So if we can trade those, we can we can still get 30 cents. There are other ways to get 30 cents also. So we're going to use our coins and show the amount in two ways and draw and label the coins. Okay, so this one says um, uh, 61 cents. Okay, so we're going to do it in two ways. So here's all, the easiest way I think is to start with the big uh, the big coins. So 25 cents plus another 25 cents is 50 cents and then if I pick a dime I'll pick this dime here's uh, 60 cents because I just added 10 to that and then we'll just add this penny right here 61 cents okay so um, uh, 50 60 okay so um, uh, it says draw those coins so there they are they're drawn right there okay now I'm gonna slide these um, figures that we drew right there up here and I'm going to take away these coins because it said do it in two different ways show the amounts in two ways so here's another way we can do this we can do um, here I'm going to start with a quarter okay so there's 25 cents and you can probably see I'm going to add a dime there's 35 cents there's 45 cents I'm just adding 10 there's 55 cents there's 60 cents and finally 61 cents sorry my new computer is a little bit touchy with my uh, my pad down here any rays right there let's draw these figures and we'll count them out so there's 25 cents okay and then there's 35 cents 45 cents 55 cents and then plus the nickel so 55 plus 5 is 60 and then plus the penny is 61 cents right there all right you guys i hope that makes sense and dog man loves to do math all right take care you guys